hadn't actually considered a career in law. I used to work in theatre. Um, and then, like lots of young people, I suppose, I watched the films and saw these strong women in uh, big law firms in New York or in London, and I thought that was something that I would quite like to do. Um, but I hadn't been to university, so didn't think it would be an option for somebody like me. The Silex route is a difficult one, especially when you're working full time. And to actually see it through to the end and qualify as a fellow, I'm hugely proud of that. I've always had a keen interest in law. I studied level three back in college. I worked in a different industry then. I then decided to pursue a career in law and then went on to study level six. But that's the thing with Silex, you can take a break, you can step back into it, or even if you want to change career, you can pick it up. You're dealing with people at really difficult times. It may be that they're recently bereaved, uh, they're very poorly, they might be dealing with um, a loved one who's suffering with dementia or Alzheimer's, and, and that's real life for people and it's quite harrowing. So to be able to put the time in to really care for those people and give them a good result, that, that means a lot to me. I feel the most important part of my role is client care. Whilst I really enjoy the technical aspects, I thrive on client contact. I'd like to qualify as a, a fellow of Silex and then I would like to see myself go on and training others. So I really enjoy the, the training aspect and educating others. I would say explore the different areas of law. They're all completely different, so find what suits your personality. Try to figure out your strengths and weaknesses and don't be afraid to push your boundaries. I, I suppose I would say um, to somebody thinking about entering into a career into law, um, to not be frightened and to always ask questions and, and listen, take notice of everything because working in law is not just about the law and, and the procedure to get from this point to another point, but it's also about paying attention to your clients and the people working around you. It's always lots of pressure within law firms. So I think I would say when entering into that training, take notice of everything and don't be scared to ask questions.